Good morning. So today's lesson is uh, again continuing on the um, principles of computer science, all about personal data today, finding out what cookies are, much misunderstood um, and much um, maligned. Uh, we want to talk about the term digital footprint, the impact that you leave and the lasting impression that you leave on the digital um, landscape. We want to work out how organisations can collect personal data in a good way and how organisations can collect data in a worrying way. So we can talk about the advantages and disadvantages of personal data. Hopefully you know that digital is anything to do with binary zeros and ones on a digital device or computer. The footprint is the impact that you leave. And so if we put the two together, your digital footprint is the trail that you leave behind after you've used your devices. So it's how you can be tracked, how you can be followed. Um, and there are different ways of generating a digital footprint. If you um, actively share your information, you type it in, you deliberately share it, then you are actively contributing to your digital footprint. But there's an awful lot more that goes on behind the scenes that is passive. So where data is just collected about you, either without your consent or with your consent, but you're not really sure what's happening. So let's find out what a cookie actually is. Um, it stores, it's just a text file that stores personal data. So that could be any of this stuff. And if you want an example of um, a cookie, then let's go to creativecode.uk. Um, and it saved the last stuff that I did from a year 10 lesson. How did it do that? Well, it stored it in a cookie. Or whenever you go to create with code, you've got this time machine here. Notice I'm not logged in at the moment. My um, login has expired. But even though I'm not logged in, I can go in the time machine and it saves the last 50 times that I've written some code and pressed run. So I can go back in time and recover that code. How does it do that? It stores it as a cookie. What is a cookie? It's just a text file so that your browser can store personal information. I hope that you'd agree that that's a, an example of how personal information can be used to enhance the user experience. But if I wanted to, I could also store um, all sorts of sensitive personal information. When people log in with their usernames and passwords, I could store their name or their date of birth or their email address as a cookie. And that would be, um, well, it'd be illegal if I don't ask for consent. Um, and there are strict laws that govern what you can store, how long you can store it, how securely you store it, and what you do with that data. So how is data collected? Well, the internet is pointless without collecting data. We can't just stop collecting data. We need to collect data. Like credit card information is important, otherwise you're not gonna be able to pay for stuff. But what you don't wanna happen is your credit card data gets stored so that anybody can access it. That's bad. So all this stuff will collect your data in, in a valid way. Why is it being collected? Well, um, it can be used to sell you more stuff in a good way. Like if I say I've got no interest in buying furniture, then Amazon's not going to show me furniture. But if I buy a settee, um, Amazon's probably going to think that for the rest of my life, I'd like to buy more settees because it's collecting data about my preferences. It will store it as cookies or it will store it on their servers and it will link me to the data on their server using an ID stored in a cookie. It might give me suggestions like on Netflix. If I view something um, once, it might display other related um, products and we talked about that closest neighbor algorithm by artificial intelligence but it needs to identify me every time i log into netflix and it might store my username and password it's not going to store my password with a cookie but it might store my username so that i can log in quickly next time it might try and store information about all of these other stuff as well so we've got some um, important keywords here anonymity is where People don't know who you are. Um, so it's removing personal information so that it's impossible to identify someone. So you can still store information about somebody, but you're not storing their name, their email address. You're just storing their preference on the text color that they want. Is it light mode or dark mode on the web page? Aggregation is where you're not just storing a single person's data, you're bringing it together into a huge database so that you can then analyze it um, to improve your company or your charity's um, effectiveness. Okay, sharing data is an essential part of how the internet works. 
but it's what humans do. So the last couple of elections, both in the United States and the United Kingdom, has been huge controversies over sharing data. So I'm sure you'll remember the Cambridge Analytica scandal where people filled out a survey on Facebook. Um, uh, what's your favourite ice cream? What's your favourite music? Um, what newspapers do you listen to? What makes you angry? And that personal information was just recorded for fun. But it was collected and without people's consent, it was shared with um, political parties and used to target people with political adverts. And people thought that this personal information influenced the outcome of elections. So it's powerful stuff. Data can be used to discriminate in a positive way or to discriminate in a negative way. So you can target support to people who need it most, or you can exclude certain classes, certain um, genders, certain sexualities, certain um, ethnicities from your services. Just because you can do that definitely does not mean that you should do that. And there are all sorts of benefits here, like the government collects a huge amount of data. It would not be able to run the NHS without knowing how many people it needs to look after. So it needs to collect that data. If it can collect that data, it can improve the quality of services. Or if you think just YouTube, if YouTube analyzes the videos that you like, it's going to be able to better predict what future videos it can recommend to you. So that's what we've got. Your job, please, is to open P21. Describe what cookies are, which is text files that store personal information. Um, and it's just a case of working through. I think you'll race through this today to give us plenty of time to do some additional revision at the end of the lesson. So it looks like the link um, in the Word document doesn't exist. So just Google BBC Bite Size Cookies and you'll find all sorts um, that is relevant. You've got plenty on here to guide you through. OK, so when you've finished your Word document, please save it and then get it uploaded to Half Term 10 Issues and Impact 3 for me, please. And then you can either do the Issues and Impact 3 revision quiz or you can do any of these topics. I would recommend that you do one that links in with your current topic. So let's have a look and see, shall we? We're on AI. It's all about topic 5. And my recommendation would be to do a topic five revision quick quiz at the end of today's lesson. 